Let's give it a hand. Thank you so much, Anand. In the Indo-Pacific region, our shared objective is to advance prosperity and maintain peace and security. India and the United States remain committed to upholding the rules-based international order. We're working with our allies and our partners to tackle global challenges through the Quad and the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. Share uh, a few words about us. Uh, Secretary Janet Yellen was uh, sworn in as the 78th Secretary, uh, who has achieved two firsts in American history. Tens of millions more people face extreme poverty and hunger since Russia's war in Ukraine began. Prime Minister Modi was correct when he said that this is not an era of war. I believe that ending Russia's war is a moral imperative, and it's also the single best thing we can do to help the global economy. Half of more than 18,000 uh, colleagues that I have in Microsoft India, I truly welcome well this uh, in India. Now, while Secretary Yellen needs no... For too long, countries around the world have been overly dependent on risky countries or a single source for critical inputs. Take Russian energy exports. Russia has long presented itself as a reliable energy partner. But for the better part of this year, Putin has weaponized Russia's natural gas supply against the people of Europe. It's an example of how malicious actors can use their market positions to try to gain geopolitical leverage or disrupt trade for their own gain. Today, uh, your visit truly reinforces the... the uh, uh, President Barack Obama uh, appointed her vice chair of the Federal... The United States is, pr is pursuing an approach called friendshoring to diversify away from countries that prevent, present geopolitical and security risks to our supply chain. To do so, we're proactively deepening economic integration with trusted trading partners like India. We're already seeing progress. New supply chains are developing across regions from Asia to the European Union. We're also seeing signs that Western firms are diversifying their supply chains beyond China. Technology companies like Amazon and Google are investing in India and Vietnam. Apple recently announced that it was shifting some iPhone manufacturing from China to India.